Once upon a time, in a land filled with winding tracks and cheering crowds, there lived a sleek and speedy race car named Otto. He was the fastest car in the land, with a body as shiny as the sun and tires that could grip the road like no other. Otto loved to race, to feel the wind in his face and the power of his engine propelling him forward. He had won countless races, leaving his competitors in the dust as he zoomed towards the finish line. But one day, as Otto was preparing for yet another race, he began to feel a strange rumbling in his engine. He tried to ignore it, but the rumbling only grew louder and more persistent. Otto was worried. He didn't want to let down his fans or his team. But as the race began, it became clear that something was seriously wrong with his engine. Otto started to slow down, watching in dismay as the other cars sped past him. Feeling defeated, Otto pulled over to the side of the track. But then, he heard a small voice behind him. Excuse me, the voice said, but I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be having some trouble. Is there anything I can do to help? Otto turned to see a tiny, beat up old car looking up at him with kind eyes. Otto was surprised. He had never seen this car before. But there was something about the car's voice that made him feel hopeful. Well, Otto said, my engine is acting up. I don't know if there's anything you can do. The little car just smiled. Let me take a look, he said. And with that, the little car climbed under Otto's hood and started tinkering away. Otto watched in amazement as the little car worked his magic, fixing up Otto's engine in no time. Wow! Otto exclaimed. You're amazing! Thank you so much! The little car just shrugged. It was nothing, he said. Let's go race! With his engine purring like new, Otto revved up his tires and sped back onto the track. He was amazed at how much faster and smoother he felt now that his engine was working properly. And as he zoomed past his competitors, he knew that he had the little car to thank for his victory. From that day on, Otto knew that he wasn't just a great race car because of his speed and power. He was a great race car because he had friends who were always there to help him when he needed it. And as Otto crossed the finish line, Leaving the other cars in his dust, he knew that he owed it all to the kindness of a little car who had shown him that even the smallest and most unlikely of friends can make a big difference.